Need some spicy Time Spiral Remastered reprints? Maybe some cool old border cards? Well, you can pre-order Time Spiral Remastered now from our sponsor, Card Kingdom, by heading over to CardKingdom.com. Hello, everyone. It's uh, probably better known as Alfred Olive, and it's time for another edition of Meme or Dream, the series where we take lists that Wizards publishes from Magic Arena, saying that they went 6-0 and or better at Platinum Rank or better in best of three and uh, put them through the ringer. Find out. Are they a meme? Do they play as janky as they look? Or maybe they're a dream and really sweet hidden behind their janky exterior. In this week... <laughs> We are heading to Historic for uh, Rat Tribal, I would say. Uh, this is no sideboard, 60-card main deck, which uh, I do appreciate after some 69 and 65-card main decks recently. 60-card uh, main deck, Rat Tribal. That's right, 10 rat colonies. Uh, we got a pseudo-rat lord and piper of the swarm. We got some pack rats. We got some... Bugler rats. We got uh, some honorary rats and Knight of the Eben Legion. Liliana, I'm not really sure why we got a six-drop Planeswalker, but I guess we can sack our rats to draw cards. So uh, just rats and more rats and more rats. And this is a deck that I'm not really sure how it went six wins. Uh, if I was to guess before having played the deck, how could you get six wins in a row with 10 rat colonies in your deck, with Piper of the Swarm, a lot of cards that just really don't see any play? I think there's a couple of possibilities, and we'll see how it plays out once we actually get into it. So uh, guess number one is Pack Rat's a card that can just beat people. Like, if you take a Pack Rat and your opponent can't kill it, and you can start making more Pack Rats, that is a line that can just straight up beat deck. So I could see pack rat especially because it gets pumped by any rat so in theory like our rat colonies make it bigger our bugler rats make it bigger uh so i could see pack rat being a way that this deck could get wins another way is knight of the eben legion while not quite as scary as pack rat knight of the eben legion if you can't kill it and you can start pumping it it is another creature that can just take over the game by itself so if you run into the right matchups like kind of removal light matchups i the deck does have a couple of rats that well in honorary rats that do have the ability to just like straight up beat people if they stick on the battlefield on the other end i've never really seen the rat colony plan work maybe this is the deck that can make it happen i do love me some bugler rats but normally hey, we play bugler rats in like Doom Foretold decks, Panharmonicon style decks to take advantage of the ETB. And this deck, it's just a rat for the most part. So, can rats with 10 rat colonies and every other rat possible actually work in Historic? Is it possible this deck could be a dream and actually got six wins in a row? Or is it a meme and as janky as it looks? Let's jump into some matches and uh, try to find out. All right, so rats take one, match one. Here we go. Oh, man, I hope, I hope that, I mean, I hope that we win a game with Rat Colony. I think that would be very sweet to actually pull off a Rat Colony win. I don't know how likely that is. I still think Pack Rat's probably the card that's most likely to let us win games, but <laughs> that's a lot of rats and not a lot of lands. Uh, we will mulligan that. All right, all right, all right, all right. This is, uh, this is fine. Rats have menace. Make a rat. Sack three rats. Can't control of a creature. Uh, we'll put we'll put one. Actually, yeah. Rat colony to the bottom or land to the bottom. I mean, I think we're on the pack rat plan, so I think we're gonna put rat colony to the bottom. I mean, I think we're gonna try to do essentially what we talked about, which is hopefully play pack rat and make more pack rats and just win the game with pack rats. So, Rat Colony, Piper of the Swarm, might just be discard fodder. All right. Well, Anna Ralphs were our opponent. Well, Pack Rat number one. Go. Please no stomp. That would be, that would be bad. Once you get two pack rats, then it's pretty easy to keep them alive, but with just one, there is risk. Oh, untapped red mana. Oh, boy. Alderaan. Alderaan, not a fan of the rats, apparently. Uh, so, what's plan B here? I guess Piper of the Swarm and a land pass the turn. I mean, so this can make rats that we can sacrifice to spark harvest, I guess. That's a that's a combo. <laughs> sort of. Sort of a combo. 
<laughs> it's basically like Storm. <laughs> Ad nauseum. Similar. On Crop Crasher. Opponent going to hit us. Sure, sure, sure. Well, since we drew the land, we will play double rat colony. Hit our opponent. Pass the turn. All right. I mean... Those are three ones. Oh, boy. Could you imagine if they have Goblin Chain Whirler? Thankfully, people don't really play Goblin Chain Whirler in Historic anymore, or else... Whew, that would uh, that would be pretty good. <laughs> Chain Whirler is like the Rat Hunter. Uh, booted. Oh, come on. No more stomps. No more stomps. Please, please, please. And then we can start making 1-1s. One oh, boy. All right, so much removal, so much removal. Liliana, that's a a bit of mana away from being effective. Yeah, that's kind of one of my concerns about Liliana in this deck. Liliana's powerful, but six mana's a lot. Like, that's asking for a lot to go right. And now we're just getting, yeah, Bone Crusher Giant. And now we're kind of just getting beaten down by things. Oh, boy, they keep coming. Yeah, I don't think we got enough removal to save us from this opponent. Combat. Well, boom. 1-1. One, one. Got him. <laughs> Pout of asses. Uh, is there any... So we play... We kill something. We get smashed. We play this. I mean, I guess we just get smashed no matter what we do. Huh. Well, the downside of... uh. The downside of Pack Rat is it does die easily. So the get him with Pack, pack Rat plan, while it's good if it lives, not always that easy to have it live. Yeah, yeah. And our opponent's deck just has a lot of uh, a lot of good removal. I think, yeah, I mean, we're, we'll let them actually kill us, but we're super duper, oh boy. Uh, all right, we will not let them actually kill us. <laughs> Close enough, you got us. <laughs> oh, Bow Crusher Giant. Oh, yeah, no no sideboard, that's right. <laughs> we don't even get to look. All right, well, let's have a, a nice little chat. What should we talk about? <laughs> what is your favorite rat, YouTube? <laughs> Do you have a favorite? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Does anyone, I mean, I know I've heard of people. I don't know if I've ever known anyone personally that had a pet rat. But I do know that people have rats as pets. So those people probably have favorite rats, but I don't know. Rats are an underappreciated animal type, I think, in a, in popular culture. Like, what famous rats are there even? Mice. There's lots of mice, but rats they get, they get the short end. Well, all right, we're gonna keep this. It's a lot of lands, but we do have a castle lock, Wade. So, emptying our hand and then drawing cards is not the worst, I guess. Plus, boom, <laughs> honorary rat knight of the even legion. Go about it. Well, Castle Lock Queen. Rat Colony. Here they come. Smack ya. Put it down to 19. Oh, uh, boot it. Oh, he's got a Boom Crusher. Oh, he's got a Boom Crusher. Well, Rat Colony. Hit ya for three. I mean, rat colonies do get big. I guess maybe you can pick up some aggro where rat colony wins. This hand's going to be tough because we're, I mean, we're up to Liliana mana now. Opponent, Bone Crusher Giant. We draw. Pack rat. Hmm. Well, go attacking. I think we hold pack rat one more turn. Opponent's going to block. Yeah, I think we hold Pack Rat one more turn because next turn we can play Pack Rat and immediately make a copy to hopefully play around our opponent's removal. And that gets us uh, synergy, combo, storm, storm and historic. Pack Rat discards cards, which lets us draw cards with Castle Lock Wayne. This deck is just oozing with synergies that I didn't even realize in the in the deck deck. All right, on Crop Crasher, sure, sure, sure. About it. Passing. Ooh, attacking. Yeah. Oh, are we greedy enough to spend four to draw a card? Probably not in this matchup. 
Well, play Castle Lockwain. Play Pack Rat. No attacks past the turn. Well, here they come. Here they come. This time we have the removal to protect it. You know what card that would be really good in this deck would be Thoughtseize. That's one of the ways that Pack Rat was really good in Standard. Was turn one Thoughtseize to get rid of your removal spell into turn two Pack Rat. Like, that was... That was part of what made it so strong. Um, no blocks. I think our opponent's trying to set up Shatter Skull Smashing, potentially. So keeping our rats alive makes it harder for our opponent to smashing everything. All right, on Crop Crasher. Well, Mega Pack Rat. Aid the Fallen. Hmm. What do we want to do here? What happens if we attack with everything? How bad is it? We can make one pack rat. So when it blocks here, blocks here, we lose... Hmm. Hmm. I'll go to combat, attack. I think we gotta stay aggro. I think we gotta stay aggro for any of this to matter. About it. I don't know about Eight of the Fallen. I feel like, isn't there one that gets back two creatures if they say our, uh, share a creature type? I feel like that would be better in this deck, most likely. Alright, so stuff dies, stuff dies. Opponent goes to ten. Aid the Fallen. Get back, Pack Rat. Play Pack Rat. Please no Shatter Skull Smashing. Land Drop Shatter Skull Smashing really gets us. All right, Tap Land. Pota hits us. No blocks. Ember Cleave. That's a lot of damage. Oh, so we're going to be just short? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that does not do it. So we'd make a rat, but we're a card short of making another. And now we die. All right, no attacks. So I guess we have to throw our entire board of pack rats in front of this on crop crasher. Opponent attacks. Yeah, Embercleave's strong. Exerts, makes it so he can't block. Well, block and block. Close. This was actually kind of a close game. I do wish that we had a, a bit more removal. Oh, it doesn't even work because they shrink. Oh! I mean, we had to do it to not die, but yeah. Gruel Spellbreaker. Hmm. Well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Opponent kills their own thing. Doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's draw. <laughs> it's a rat colony. Not gonna save us from the Evergleave, and, uh, huh. Well, we got to see rats do things, and it didn't feel horrible. It's just a bit. Yeah, I don't know. Do we... Is there any... I don't think there's much removal in this deck, is there? Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess we have Drag to the Underworld. We just didn't find it. It's kind of an interesting choice for removal. Kind of... Uh, yeah, I guess there's like six removal spells. So it's not It's not that light on removal. The exact removal spells are a little weird uh, when there's so many options. Not exactly sure why why those were the chosen removal spells, but... Eight of the Fallen, that I'm not sure. Isn't there one that returns two creatures of the same creature type? I'm going to have to look that up, because I swear there is essentially the same card that returns two creatures if they're the same type. 
Because we only have two Lilianas, so getting back a Planeswalker just doesn't seem like it does much. Like, we're going to need a game to go in a really rare and strange direction to have a Liliana in the graveyard. Like, to have us still be alive and have a Liliana in the graveyard. So, Aiden the Fallen's pretty much two mana get back a rat, which it's something, but I think there's probably a better option for that. Well, we got rat colonies. <laughs> and a Piper for Menace. Planes. Oh, dear. Well, this is going to be interesting. Uh, yeah, this life gain deck has ended up being really good thanks to some new cards. Johnny's pride mate, opponent, gains some life, grows it. Well, we have an answer to that. Boom. <laughs> Rat colony. Grow your pride mate. <laughs> I mean, next turn we could kill something, which is good. Thankfully, this looks like... Like uh, an old version of the life gain deck that is maybe not as good. So, maybe maybe we got a chance here. So, play the land. Pass the turn. All right, so we kill the pride mate. Next turn, we can play two things. Oh, this better not be Helia. Oh, it is the n uh, newer version. All right. Hmm. Um, one, two, three. All right, kill the pride mate. Opponent gains some life. About it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's us. We take it. Now play the land. Play Piper of the Swarm. Opponent gains life. Play Bugler Rat. Opponent gains life. Discards. Uh, discards a card. Another bishop. All right, pass the turn. I mean... In theory, we can steal stuff. It's a lot of rats, but it could happen. Oh, right as well, great. Okay. Yeah, that's that's real bad. I think that means we die. Opponent with the big attack. Yeah, that's... I don't know what we do about this. Righteous Valkyrie's tough. We don't have enough rats to sack and steal. Well, I guess we play Rat Colony. Opponent. Gonna gain some life. Knight of the Ebon Legion. Opponent gains some life. We will pass the turn. So we can make a rat token with Piper of the Swarm. Opponent, land. Oh boy. Another massive flyer. Ridiculous amounts of life. That's a lot of damage for our rats to deal. Opponent gets in with a flyer. Well, we will make a rat. Opponent gains more life. Down to one. Play the land. Play Piper of the Swarm. Opponent. Up to 56. Ooh, do we survive this? I'm not sure we do. Sack? So we sack... All right, so let's see. We sack steal this. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. Tapped. One, two, three, four. All right, well. Steal Righteous Valkyrie. Wait. That's so big, though. Well, sack, sack, sack. Opponent goes attacking. We have to block. 56 life is so much. <laughs> Opponent, land passes. Aid the fallen. We're w uh, now we're just way too short on rats. Make a rat, make a rat. Yeah. Can't stop the flyer. Well. We got to see Piper of the Swarm steal something. Uh, opponent just has so much life. Oh, yeah. Po <laughs> I assume our opponent has a sideboard. 
<laughs> but they feel... They feel like it's so unlikely that they can lose to rats that, uh, <laughs> that they don't even bother. So this ad... Wow, opponents... Whoa, whoa, whoa! That Ah! Rat win! That's how you do it! That's how you do it! You just gotta trust that they mulligan to zero! <laughs> and we're ranking up! <laughs> Okay, we found we found a way to win with uh with rats in historic. <laughs> it just takes a lot of mulligans from the opponent. Ooh. I actually kinda like this hand. We have a pack rat and we have removal. That is kinda what we're hoping for, honestly. Opponent. Yeah. What do you got? What do you got? Land and please no soul warden. Soul warden. Well, land at night of the Demon Legion. Yo. Opponent. Another Soul Warden. Oh, play the land. Play... Pack Rat. I am pretty concerned about the amount of life our opponent's gaining. Pass the turn. <gasps> Triple Soul Warden. Well, play the land. Attack with Knight of the Eben Legion. We need our opponent to start losing life. Opponent takes it. Alright, well, let's make pack rats. Opponent. Land number two and Speaker of the Heavens. So we're gonna have to kill that. Opponent gains a bunch of life. Well, discard a rat colony. Opponent gains a bunch of life. Go to combat. Attack. Opponent takes it. Well, we gotta kill speaker. We gots to. Pass the turn. Opponent. A Johnny's pride mate. Gains a bunch of life. Wow, gets frisky. Well, we gotta kill pride mate. Go attacking. The problem is if they find the angel, it's gonna be a huge problem. Uh, Righteous Valkyrie to pump their stuff. Oh boy. Daxos. Gain some life. Goes attacking. Well, go to combat. Attack with everything. Discard a rat colony. <laughs> oh, put it down to 23. We're still, like, if they have Righteous Valkyrie, we just, that's going to get us. We're out of removal. Bishop of Wings gains a bunch of life. Passes. Oh, play the land. Piper of the Swarm. Opponent gains a bunch of life. Rat Colony. Opponent gains a bunch of life. Pass the turn. Oh, all right. All right, all right. Ah! Oh, rat win! Rat win! They cannot overcome the Piper of the Swarm! <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, we saw a good example of kind of what we talked about earlier, which is pack rat can go off. If you can't kill it, it gets big. Pony had a lot of life gain, but couldn't stop the rats. All right. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> sweet, sweet, sweet. All right. One-on-one -on -one with rats, it's kind of doing it. It's kind of actually really doing it. I mean, rat power. <laughs> Pack rat is a legitimate magic card. Like, it actually is a legitimate magic card. Opponent uh, on the play. All right, let's see what we're up against. How many, how many rats do we have this game? Many. All right, well, I mean, I think we keep this. <laughs>
you don't play 10 rat colonies and then ship your opener because it has three rat colonies like that's <laughs> that's not how it works so yeah i mean we play rat colonies and hope for the best and also also bugler rats <laughs> pony all right white green all right all right oh Ooh. All right, uh, well, um, bugle a rat make you discard. I think making our opponent discard is more important than running out rat colony, because rat colony is just going to trade with spirits anyway. We would like one more land. We would prefer it to be Castle Lockwain, but we'd like one more land so we can do something next turn and then play two rats on turn four. That would be... Wow, opponents really tanking on the bugler rats. Opponent, combat hits us. Down to 19. <laughs> Gonna kill our bugler rat? <laughs> well, that'll show us. Opponent, untap land, and... I think we're most likely just killing something this turn. Archon of Amiria. Well, play the land. Kill Archon. Hit you a bugler rat. Down to 17. Oh, boot it. Alright, come on, land. Land, land, land. We want a bugler rat plus rat cow. Oh, please not go. Coco's going to be tough for us to, uh, oh dear, I think they have it. Down to 18. Coco's going to be tough for us to beat. Hmm. Well, uh, okay. I guess we got to pass and kill something again? Ooh. All right, well, let's see what they Coco into. You know what would actually be sweet in our deck? Collect a company. Coco rats. Two rat colonies with one card? How do you beat it? Oh my god, that's so many lords. Alright, well. Kill a lord. <laughs> We're running out of removal, though. Pass the turn. About it. Yeah, that's... Bonus has more lords than we have answers to lords. Boom. Got him. Yeah, this, this plan is not working. Although, I also don't think just playing a rat colony is going to do anything, so. Yeah, it would have been nice to hit more lands to do multiple things. Pona hits us to six. Well, we are dead to literally anything. There's our land. But yeah, we're just... Well, I mean, I guess we're not... I guess we're not technically dead on board. Our opponent has five damage on board. So we will bugle a rat. I mean... With how this is played out, I assume they have one more point of damage. Discards a land. Uh, Piper the Swarm. Wow, we didn't play... A, we started with three rat colonies, and we're going to end it with three rat colonies. <laughs> yeah, there is the Lethal Flyer, and we scoop it up. Oh, yeah, it's going to be tough. Our opponent has a bunch of lords and all their creatures fly while our rats are on the ground and uh we have piper the swarm <laughs> as our like pseudo lord All right, we get to play first, and, well, all right, we got some rats. This time we're going to cast rat colonies, I think, and see, and hope and pray. About it, doing some mulliganing, that's probably good for us. Oh, still, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Come on, two, can we go to two? If our opponent goes to two, I'm going to like our odds. At three, 50-50. <laughs> uh, all right. Land.
land. Go. Well, this does improve our burglar rat. I mean, bugler rat. Um. Bonet buzzing. Well, play the land. Play. Play rat colony. Gotta go aggro. Gotta go aggro. Here they come. Can you beat a 2 1? That is gonna get bigger eventually. Spectral sailor. Uh huh. Well, that does trade with a rat colony. <laughs> Awkwardly. <laughs> About it. Land. Supreme Phantom hits us. Well, play the land. Play a bugler rat. Make you discard. Bone it. Yeah, it's rid of the cocoa. Well, we'll hit you. Opponent takes it, and yeah, we're gonna let stuff live for now. Next turn, we can rat colony and drag to the underworld. Wow, opponent's just gonna race. Okay. Land. Well, play the land. Rat colony. Go attacking. Down to 12. Past the turn. Opponent land. Combat. Attacks. Alright, yeah. Down to 12. Opponent passes. Rat colony. Play the land. Go to combat. Nibble Gast Herald. Now, we will kill Nibblegast. Opponent tap the summoning sick one. It goes to one. And, uh, yeah, we'll pass. This looks pretty lethal to me. Opponent needs exactly Coco off the top. Or Nibblegast, maybe. And, okay, we can beat spirits if they mold a four. <laughs> we figured it out. Ooh, one land. One land, no keep. Yeah, our turn to mulligan. Uh, uh, Liliana's great, but I would be surprised if we managed to live long enough. Well, we got a, a nice variety of rats, I would say. Land, go. Opponent's on the play, though. And they have Coco, and we do not have Coco. Spectral Sailor, sure. We also don't have any removal this game. Opponent gets and hits us. We're probably on the pack rat plan, honestly. Untap land. We'll play the land. Play a pack rat. Alright, resolves. Oh, uh, boot it. Rattle chains. Yep, yeah, that's a good one. Do they have a lord? If they have a lord, their clock is super fast. Untap land. Oh, no! No, 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 no! We didn't need that. Oh. Yeah, Skyclave Apparition. Land. Rat, I guess. <laughs> the saddest bugle. <laughs> Phone it. Oh my god, they discarded a Skyclave? Oh, what is their hand? If they're discarding Skyclaves, you know their hand is insane because Skyclave is great against so It's got to be Coco and Lord or something like that. Two Cocos? Like, there's there are very few cards in our opponent's deck better than Skyclave Apparition against us. Yep. Yeah. Not going to Coco. Well. <laughs> Puke rat. 
Get him. Get him, Bugler Rat. You can do it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying so hard. How about it? Yes. Make you discard. Supreme Phantom. <laughs> Pass the turf. We're so dead. <laughs> We're so dead. <laughs> All right. Well, good, good try, rats. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we got one. We we learned if our opponent mulligans to four, we actually we have a pretty good shot with rats. We need we need the mold of four though. Without the mold of four, mm, things are sketchy. I mean, I guess that's another way you could get six wins in a row. If you hit a string of, I mean, so far we've played three matches. We got. A win where our opponent mulliganed to two and scooped, and then we managed to win game three and actually pick up the match win. And then we had a game where our opponent mulliganed to four and we were able to pull off the win, so eh, eh. That could be a possibility of how we could actually get six wins in a row. All right, we get to play first, and all right, we got a pack rat. Pack rat, best, oh my God, are we up against cats? Is our opponent, are they literally playing cats, or cats versus rats would be hilarious. I kind of hope they are. They are probably just using the sleeves, but. <laughs> cats versus rats is, oh, okay, Lanamore. So, not cats versus rats. We'll play the land, play pack rat. Yeah. Rats versus elves. Not quite as iconic as Cats vs. Rats, but... Oh, it's just Gruel. Pelt Collector. Bone Crusher. Oh, Robber of the Rich. All right. Well, I mean, that's still bad. Opponent. Well... <laughs> oh, they actually stole a good card. What are the odds? Opponent hits us. Kazalok Wayne. Pass the turn. Start making rats. Opponent. Fabled Passage. Knight of the Even Legion actually would be good in our opponent's deck. They're going to be able to grow it, which is kind of scary. Opponent goes to combat. Attacks, attacks. Well, we will discard a rat colony. Make a pack rat. Get under the Robber of the Rich number. No blocks. Down to 14. About it. Yeah, Knight of the Even Legion. Oh, no, they do have Bone Crusher. Oh. Oh, well, play the land. Yeah, that's we needed that rat to live. So we could get up to three threes. And now we can actually block. As it is, I think we're just pretty done for. Apparently Gruel is good against rats. We're just so part of the one of the things to consider with this rat deck is our curve is very two drop cent yeah. Our curve is very two drop centric. Yeah, we're just I mean we're we're dead. There's no our curve, if you look at the curve, which we can't now because we don't have a sideboard, so we don't get to see it, but our curve is very focused on two. So this leaves us in a position where a lot of our games, what happens, and this is a good example of why curve is important, but what happens a lot of time is we do nothing on turn one, we play a two drop on turn two, and then on turn three, we play another two drop and lose out on our third mana. So essentially, over the first three turns of the game, we get one mana plus two mana plus three mana. That's six total mana. But our deck almost always, unless we have Pack Rat in specific, and it lives and we make a copy of it, but our deck almost always is using four of that six mana, which is very inefficient. We're, we're leaving a lot of mana go to waste, which... I think maybe would be a way to improve the deck. Like, I know rats are tough because you're trying to play rat tribal and rats just don't have a lot of options outside of <laughs> infinite rat colonies. But I do think that maybe finding a way to get 
more one drops. Thoughtseize would be the first one that comes to mind because Thoughtseize into into Pack Rat is like a classic opening from Standard that we actually know is good. So I think like Thoughtseize in the one drop slot, and then maybe you need a three drop, maybe more one drops lets you go one into two into two plus one. Uh, but yeah, so that's something to consider. I think I, it could be a budget choice. Although this deck does have a reasonable amount of rares, I guess. So it might just be a budget choice, but, uh, yeah, I mean, we gotta go for it and hope they don't have it. It might just be a budget choice, but, uh, I do think that more one drops, like thought seizes, fatal pushes, etc., would, uh, would go a long way towards improving our efficiency. Now play the land, pass the turn. We're all in on the pack rat plan. Unfortunately, this is going to end up growing our opponent's scavenging use, but... Opponent, land, combat, attacks. We will take it. Down to 14. Discard Piper of the Swarm. Oh, please don't have Stomp. Oh, oh yeah, this is playing out like last game. Opponent, sure. So we get a pack rat, but it remains little. I'll play Knight of the Even Legion. Pass the turn. Yeah, our opponent's had enough removal that we haven't been able to get our pack rats big enough to actually block our opponent's things, which is very unfortunate. Uh, about it. Considering the possibilities. Oh boy. Love Struck Beast. Untap land. I guess it could be Bone Crusher plus Ooze. <laughs> Opponent's got a removal spell. They're trying to figure out how to use it. Okay, Pelt Collector, sure. All right, Pell Collector, because I knew Mammoth. Grows the dorks. Upload it. Well, discard a Piper of the Swarm. Play a land. Play Rat Colony. Pass the turn. Okay, all right. Our stuff is growing. Is it going to be enough? Ember Cleave is always looming as a way that we just die, but our board is match. Ugh, questing Beast. Okay. Grows the dorks, grows the dorks. Opponent. Well, we will discard Piper. Make our pack rats four fours. Block and block. Go to six. What happens if we all out attack? We all out attack. Four, eight, twelve. So five, ten, fifteen. 21. Wow, can we force our opponent to double jump? So we play Rat Colony. Play Rat Colony. So let's see. Opponent blocks. Opponent blocks. 5, 10. Well, I guess that's not lethal. Opponent blocks, opponent blocks. 5, 10, 14. No. Ugh. All right, no, no attacks, no attacks. Gotta remain patient. No cleaves, no cleaves, no cleaves. We actually built a big rat board here. Opponent plays a lad. What is that last card? Robber of the Rich, sure. That's fine. That is fine. Opponent. Passes. Well, we untap. 
spark harvest. One, two, three, four blockers. One, two, three, four, five, six attackers. Hmm. Mm hmm. Well, let's. Kill. Quest. Well, kill the ooze. Yeah, Bone's gonna gain some life. Gain some life. Gain some life. So if we attack, 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 ugh, I still don't think it's worth it. Because every rat we lose decreases the power of our other rats. This has trample, which is awkward. All right, yep. Oh, the problem with this is it's giving our opponent a lot of turns to draw into Ember Glaive. Phone it, Bone Crusher. Crag's Fabled Passage. Passes. Hmm. <clears throat> Go to combat. Attack. Yeah, attack with one rat colony. Opponent trades with a robber. Yep. All right, that's one creature down. Pass the turn. Opponent. Chandra. That's a really scary draw. Ticks up. Questing Beast hits us. Down to four. Well, make a rat. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. So opponent blocks, blocks, blocks. Six, twelve. Oh, I think we gotta wait one more turn? I'm not missing something, right? If I attack with everything. Let's see. So opponent blocks this. Blocks this blocks this takes 11 12 13 14 hmm well attack our opponent and yeah we gotta wait one more turn Attack our opponent. Yeah, opponent blocks. All right. Well, next turn is it. Pass the turn. Opponent attacks. Opponent. Oh, we've been so close. So close. Opponent takes up. Burning tree emissary. Hits us to two. Goes to combat. Attacks. No. Oh. Did they top deck Ember Cleave? Oh my god. Alright. Yeah. Another Questing Beast. I'll play Bugler Rat. Everything at our opponent. And we lose. <laughs> oh my god. So close. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to get yelled at.
and people are going to say we should have attacked more aggressively. Maybe that's correct. The thing is, huh, the thing is, if we attack and we lose rats, then it shrinks all of our rats and we can't regrow them. So that's kind of like the issue. But yeah, possibly, possibly we should have just been more aggressive. Huh, I don't know. Huh. All right. So uh, rats. I mean, we're playing them. We are playing them. <laughs> We've won with them once. It requires a bit of mulliganing, but uh, it can happen. We've proven that you can win a game with rats. Win a match with rats, actually. Ooh, all right. Well, this does have many of our best cards. And I like that we actually have one drops this hand. I really think probably the biggest... So one of the things I noticed about this deck, little, little Brewer's Minute... <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, we never... No, no, no. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, done. <laughs> nope, not happening. <laughs> I don't think we could beat a Cauldron Familiar, honestly. Uh, and Sacrifice Synergies, but... Um, so one of the things I noticed about this deck is if you look at the curve, it is... Oh, boy. It is very much... It is very much um, two drop heavy. We have Knight of the Even Legion as a one drop, and then we just have the biggest stack of two drops you've ever seen. And what ends up happening in a lot of our games is we do nothing on turn one, we play a two drop on turn two, and then unless it's Pack Rat making a token, we're playing another two drop on turn three. And what that does, oh God almighty. And what that does is it leaves us in this position where if you think about how much mana we have over the first three turns, we have, we have uh, one mana plus two mana plus three mana. We have six mana total over our first three turns. Most games with this deck, we are only using two of that mana. So, uh, or only using four of that mana and two of that mana is going to waste. So I think the easiest way to improve this deck would be to improve the curve. Like if we could add, like if we could add more uh, one drops, I'll get rid of the last, I mean, we actually are kind of in this game, even after double claim the firstborn, kill the priest. I mean, we, we are kind of, we are kind of in this sort of hit our opponent for one. Uh, so I think the biggest addition would just be thought sees. Like if we could have thought sees, not only would that give us a higher chance of using our mana efficiently over the first few turns. It's also an old standard trick with, uh, with pack rat, like turn one thought sees, take your removal spell, turn two pack rat. That's a way you can win games. Like that is a, a legitimate way to win games of, uh, of magic. Hmm. Well, play Rat Colony. Not exactly good against Cauldron Familiar. Go. Hmm. Go to combat. No attacks. Pass the turn. Unfortunately, going to be hard to steal anything. Wow. Can we literally just not beat a Cauldron Familiar with a Witch's Oven? I feel like that just locks down <laughs> essentially our entire... Like, if we had had the Pack Rat live, maybe it'd be different. But I feel like this one, this one cat is stopping all the rats, which I guess that's on point flavor-wise. So, score, maybe? Opponent. Goes attacking. Uh, we will block. Don't it kills the rat colony. Well, we will make a rat. Yep. Ooh, that is pretty. Ooh. Maybe we wait one more turn. Let's go to combat. Oh, I am. I'm definitely going to yell that for this one. I kind of forgot that Piper the Swarm gives, uh, gives menace to rats. Oops. 
Clone it. Yeah. You know what? We're going to run out Pack Rat. What are the odds that they draw a removal spell? Probably higher than we like to admit. So yeah, I guess we did cost ourselves a bit of damage there. By not by not attacking with a, with a rat, but... Yeah, uh never actually played Piper this one before. This is a this is a first. Opponent drains us twelve. Untaps. Mayhem Devil just beats us. Castle Lockwain, opponent passing. Well, Piper, make a rat. Grow the pack rat. Untap. Piper. Make a rat. Go to combat. Attack you. Opponent blocks. I mean, the good news is this drag to the underworld does potentially give us a chance to beat a... Wow, they didn't even sack it. Grow it. Are we going to win this? Is this happening? Opponent, down to nine. Uh-huh. Gets back the cat, sure. Back up to 10. Opponent draws. Land. Priest, sure. Opponent passes. Well, we will make a pack rat. <laughs> we beat Sacrifice! I don't know how we beat Sacrifice, but we actually really beat Sacrifice. Alright. We are on the draw, and, I mean, we're going to keep... We got the bugler rod, so we should be fine. Opponent. I cannot believe we won that game. That was maybe the least likely win. I still think, like, we got lucky our opponent didn't find Mayhem Devil. Mayhem Devil seems like it just really wrecks us. Velky. Takes. Probably Piper of the Swarm. Or maybe our cards are also bad. Our opponent has no idea. Oh, yeah, it is Piper. Sure. That makes sense. That is the, the best of the blockers. Opponent, it says. Well, it's bugling time. Make a discard. About it. Land. Okay. Land and Midnight Reaper passes. Well, land and <clears throat> I guess we just kill Midnight Reaper. And attack. Ha ha! <laughs> Down to 17. <laughs> About it adapts. Yeah, Drag to the Underworld's not that great. There's probably a better a better option. Ooh, Bo Strider, yeah. And claim the first board, and there goes our bugler rat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Opponent sacks it and scries. Yeah, this is going a little bit more like I imagined. Minus our opponent has not found the mayhem devil to truly ruin our day. Yeah, Drake to the Underworld's pr pretty not good. <laughs> it's so expensive. We don't even have double black cards, so it's actually... <laughs> It's actually hard to turn it into two mana bonus X. Just cry to the top. And Dread Horde Butcher. And Priest of Forgotten Gods. Opponent attacks. 
No block. Yeah, this... I don't know how we get out of this. We do draw a land. So play the land. Play... There's like 10 things we need to kill. This, 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 this. Now play wreck. Play wreck, Galady. Kill the priest. Well, our opponent didn't even act to scry. Well, we will accept that. Pass the turn. Opponent adapts. Goes to combat. Hits us. No, block and block. Not the best attack. I mean, I guess... I guess the Woe Strider is just going to come back anyway. Ooh, another priest. Yeah. And turns into a piper. Rat colony. Well, play rat colony past the turn. <laughs> oh, rats. About it. Yeah, here comes Woe Strider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Bunch of creatures. And a 5 4, which, boy, 5 4 is big against rats. <laughs> might as well be a, might as well be a Emerical. <laughs> we will make a rat. We will untap. We will play Rat Colony. We will. Boom. Aggro. Aggro rats. Yeah, trade it with the cat, unfortunately. I don't actually think there's... Well, we'll see. <laughs> I don't feel like there's a way we can uh, we can get back from this. Opponent. Sacks to scry. Okay. To the top. Ooh, not the direction we wanted. Well, pass the turn. Opponent draws. Eventually, they're going to find Coco or Mayhem Devil, and then, okay, Mayhem Devil. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we're on the play for game three. If there was ever, if there was ever hope for the Rads, is that we are on the play, and who knows? Who knows? Let's root for some mulligans for our uh, for our opponent. <laughs> Four is is the secret number for rats so far. I think we're two and zero oh when our opponents multi four or less, and like one in a million when they uh, do not. Oh no, maybe we're gonna mulligan to four. I guess that's karma <laughs> for wishing a mulligans on our opponent. We displease the magic gods with a mulligan request. Yeah, this is this is fine. We got a one drop, which is uh, is nice. Uh, rat colony to the bottom. Uh, boot it. All right, land and knight of the even legion. Yo. No. Please, no cats and witches ovens, and mayhem devils or woe strike like. Play, play, none of that. None of that. Just none. Well, pack rat. Hit ya. If we actually get to make a pack rat, I'm going to kind of like our chances a little bit. Opponent. Land. Priest. Okay. I'll play the land. Go to combat. Attack. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Opponent. Opponent. You have activated our... Rat card. <laughs> gotcha. Fast the turn. Okay. Okay, pack rat. Opponent, lad. Whoa, Strider. Well, we will kill Whoa, Strider. Alright, alright, that was that was good. That was real good. 
We actually just beat him pretty fairly. Hmm. I mean, it kind of, sort of is working when we get the right draws. That was even on the mulligan. Well, all right. Sweet. <laughs> all right, so we are heading into round six with Historic Rats. And we are two and three, which means if we could win this one match somehow, miraculously... Oh, well, we got a Bugler Rat and a Castle Lockwade. Oh, this hand's not good, but we're going to keep it. If we can miraculously overcome this uh, <laughs> all-land Bugler Rat start and win this match, that would mean that somehow Rat Colony in Historic, of all things, would, uh, would qualify as a dream. Like, we were that close. We're one match away. Even if it doesn't, we won two matches with Rat Colony. Like... I don't know if someone got six in a row. Probably a lot of luck. But, but, even that is a a pretty impressive feat. Not sure about this blue-white control matchup. Eh? Not, a, not super happy that that's a, <laughs> what we're up against. Probably going to have a lot of rats for our rats. And uh, also probably to fairies that we can't easily deal with. Uh, but when it draws a card. I mean, we're off to a fast start. That's four power on turn three. <laughs> Almost like you played a Love Struck Beast. <laughs> Except it took us a bunch of cards. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Getting better. Boom. Rat Colony. <laughs> Please don't counter it. Just take your, take your rat beats about it. Oh, counter it and gains life. I think that's cheating. Well, hit you. Down to 18 opponent Drake to the underworld is not very good tap land passes now land go to combat attack you about it makes a baby shark well we will kill the baby shark Oh, Knight of the Even Legion. Oh, no Wraths. No Wraths. No Noob Scars. None of that. Just just die. Just die nicely. Ugh. Oh, dream. Dream crushed. Well, and just like... Oh, that would have been good if we could cast it. Wow, one... That would have been the perfect follow-up. All right, pass the turn. Well, yeah, that, that was our chance. If we could have actually played Liliana after that Wrath, we'd actually... Oh, <gasps> land, 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 land. Whoo! All right, Liliana coming, th coming through. Oh, if this is packed negation. Yes, the perfect answer. Opponent, it. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. <laughs> Whoo! Try to jake us out with Dream Trawler, will ya? The rat's got something to say about that. <laughs> Opponent, land. Deferi. All right, getting worse. Going to tuck our Liliana. Well, play the land. Play the Piper. Draw a card. Pass the turn. Ooh, but now we're to Fairy Locked. Keep up the pace. I think that I think that's gonna beat us now. Well, we we did things this game. Uh, usually can't beat Teferi with a non-Memer Dream deck. Seems less likely that we beat it with a Memer Dream deck. Uh, play the land. Boom. Come on! No counter somehow. Wow, no counter somehow. Alright, uh, make a zombie. Pass the turn. I mean, if we can ultimate Liliana that's a that's a thing that's a thing opponent yeah good draw card at least if our opponent wraths we get to draw Liliana cards which is good opponents drawing a ton of cards with airplanes walker faceless haven yeah well that's the reason for the snowlands apparently about it Passing. Well, 
make a rat. I don't think we have literally any way in our deck to to kill it to fairy though. Bugler rat. Opponent's got a discard. Take up Liliana. Draw a card. Rat colony. <laughs> the agent, there, there's a swarm. The swarm is here. Uh, attack to fairy a bit. Opponent makes a 1-1. One, one. I mean, it's all about this Liliana sticking. Opponent blocks. All right. Well, to ferry down to two. All right. Stay around, Liliana, please. Opponent, land. Draws a card. I mean, if our opponent rasps, we get to draw a, essentially a new hand. about it thinking unclear what our opponent's attempting to do here Dream Trawler, okay. Yeah, that's that's bad news. So I think what we do is tick up Liliana, make a zombie. play Piper of the Swarm. Pass the turn. No attacks. Up who it makes a one one. Sure. Yeah, draws a card. land oh oh my god oh my god there there is actually a chance that we're going to be able to ultimate this liliana and if we do we're going to win this game opponent goes to combat we will sack three rats draw three cards for the swarm versus the dream trawler yeah opponent has got a discard yeah well let's see if they can answer liliana oh man oh, opponent's getting desperate they're desperately trying to find an answer two to the bottom oh my goodness oh my god is this gonna work i did not think it was possible opponent Scoops it up. Scoops it up. Come on. No answer. No answer. No answer. Oh my god, so desperate. Sharks. Yeah. Reading. Ah! Oh! Alright, no 
No disallows. No disallows. Well, I mean, yeah, uh, boom. <laughs> we still have to beat a dream trawler, which is still not guaranteed. But we actually get to, oh no, it is guaranteed. Because we get to, eight of the fallen! After saying that we're never going to get Planeswalker value with eight of the fallen, we're going to win the game because of eight of the fallen. <laughs> Uh, well, we will uh, aid of the fallen. Get back. Burglar rat, Liliana. Go to combat. Kill to fairy. Hit our opponent. You know what? Let's not be greedy. Make sure Teferi dies. I don't know what they can do with one mana, but... Liliana. <laughs> that is the least likely win. <laughs> oh my goodness. Piper of the Swarm, Liliana, Eight of the Fallen, and Rats. Taking down to Fairy. <laughs> I can't believe, I can't believe, it. I wish we could cut it right there, because I'm pretty sure we're going to get wrapped into Oblivion the next two games, but <laughs> it worked. It really kind of actually worked. All right. Out of game two, rats versus blue white control. Well, all right, we got rats. We got a Liliana. We'll see. Opponent land. Well, land go. Opponent. Wow, this would be this would be such a sweet win. Land. Land pack rat. All right, Omen of the Sea. Well, now we make pack rats and hope our opponent doesn't hit a wrath. Two to the top. All right. Our hopes may be dashed. About it. Could also be looking for lands. Well, play the land. Go to combat. Attack you. Make a rat. All right, answers a rat. Sure. About it, untaps. Land passes. Well, play the land. Go to combat. Attack. Make a rat. About it. Down to 18. All right. What do they got? What do they got? It's all about the wraths. All right. Opponent makes a, makes a shark. Thankfully, not a big scary one. About it. Land. Passes. Well, play a rat. Play a land. Go to combat. Attack. Opponent. Blocks. I don't think we're going to discard here. We're going to wait. Because if our opponent wraths... Wow. Wow. Okay. Cycles the cast out. Because if our opponent wraths, we want to have uh, all these cards in our hand. Cast the cast out. If our opponent doesn't wrath, then we can make a pack rat end step. 
Oh. Oh, that was a... Uh, hmm. All right, I guess we should have made a rat main phase. That was a little not good. Seal away. Make a rat. Whoa. <laughs> Light leaks. Boat it. Passes. Uh, go to combat. Attack you. Discard a card. Make a rat. Opponent. Down to 13. Oh, did we punt away this game? Pass the turn. Sacks to scrub. Opponent's getting desperate. They're getting desperate. Bottom, 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 no wraths. Top, top, ugh. Top, top is the opposite of bottom, bottom. Uh, in case you were wondering about directions like up and down, opponent. Found the wrath. Yup. Oh, play burglar at. Mega discard. Oh, maybe we should have just ran out the Liliana. It didn't seem like our opponent... Oh, well, good thing we didn't run out the Liliana. That was a Dovin's veto. Draw a card. Pass the turd. Opponent. Can you beat a 1-1? Opponent passes. Well, play Rat Colony. Opponent counters. Sure. Draw a card. Hit ya. Down to 15. No to fairies. No to fairies. To fairy. Opponent. Yeah, that's that's what we wanted to not see. Tap land. Untaps. Oh, play the land. We're at Colony. Liliana. Oh, they have another counter. Oh, it's stalling like that's bad. Yeah. Another veto. Oh, I'll hit the fairy. We need some whiffs. We need some big whiffs. Whiff, whiff, whiff. Opponent. Draws an extra card. Yeah. Oh, sweet Jesus. All right, Dream Trawler. I'll play Rat Colony. We just don't have a way to deal with this Dream Trawler. Draw a card. Piper of the Swarm. That's actually interesting. Kill to Fairy. Opponent, learning about menace. <laughs> to fairy down. I mean, I still don't know if we can beat a dream trawler, but we kill it. We're we're putting up a fight. Like this deck is putting up a fight. Opponent, Skyland attacks. Draws another card. Yeah, so much card draw. Opponent. Hits us to ten. Goes to twenty. High life total. Leyline of Sanctity. Okay. I'll play the land. Draw a card. Go to combat. Attack. Hit our opponent. Down to 11. Knight of the Eben Legion. Pass the turn. Grow it. Pwn it. Yeah. Oh my goodness, this is ridiculously close. Dream Trawlers. Land. Okay. 
combat. Gonna stay aggressive. Hits us down to four. Hopefully they don't have instant speed card draw. That would be bad. All right, a little bit. Cycles of Shark Typhoon. Well, we go to three. Opponent. Well, we will make a rat. I don't think we can 17 our opponent, though. Untap. Play the land. Draw a card. Rat Colony. Go to combat. Attack. Opponent. Six, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen. S Wait. 6, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16. Well. Alright, I mean, pump it? Come on. Almost beat a dream trawler opponent had to draw into it. We were so close. Oh. Wow. Well, I mean, we are giving that deck a run for the money. I still think the odds of us winning are pretty low, but <laughs> that actually felt like a pretty a pretty real match for the most part. So eh. Alright, we get to play first. Well, we got a pack rat. We got a plan. Land, go. About it. Well, we gotta hope they don't have a wrath. You've probably heard this story before. Pack rat, go. About it. Plays a land passes. Well, we'll play a land. Go to combat attack. Discard a bugler rat. Make a pack rat. Opponent takes two. Untaps. Opponent. Land. Passes. I'll play the land. Go to combat. Attack. Mm. <sighs> Discard a rat colony. This is just so painful if they have a wrath, but... We're not going to win the long game, so... I think it's what we got to do. All right, little shark. Down to 12. Come on, no ref. No ref. Up it. Is. We actually have lethal if there's not any interaction. <laughs> Thanks to Piper the Swarm Menace. Cast out. Alright, opponent's staying alive. 
passes. Well, play the land. Piper the Swarm. Make a rat. Hit ya. This is it? This is it. Do they draw a wrath? Do they draw a wrath? I assume they would have cast it last turn if they could have. Opponent. Reading, counting. Doing some math. Oh, um, if this is a wrath off the cast out of my cry. Cycles. Oh my, oh my, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's actually happening. Potter draws a card. What's going to happen? Potter passes. We play Piper the Swarm. Make sure we have Menace. We discard eight of the Fallen. We attack. And we win. <laughs> we went three and three. We went three and three with rats. <laughs> okay. I will I will accept it. And that means that means no sideboard rat tribal. With 10 rat colonies and Piper of the Swords and the most two-drop heavy curve in the history of Magic the Gathering. Uh, it's a it's a dream. It's a dream. It's a three and three. We went three and three with rats and historic, somehow. So, okay. It's a it's a dream. It's a dream, but that does not mean that the deck cannot be improved. So, uh, I will say. <laughs> I still don't understand why it worked a bit, but it did work a bit. I think our pack rat theory did prove itself to be true. That is a card that can win games. If I was going to build this deck, what changes would I make to improve it? Obviously, add a sideboard, play Leyland of the Void, play Duresses, uh, play more removal, Fatal Pushes, Blood Chiefs, Thirst. Like that, let's just add it in real quick. Like, uh, like there's no, there's really no reason not to. Even uh, being free to play, is not a reason not to because yes i'm adding some rares to the sideboard but if you just add duresses and doom blades and random black commons that are in your collection that will that will be improving your deck so uh so yes add cards to the sideboard that's gonna make your uh that's gonna make your deck better uh i don't know exactly what else we want i don't know uh, I'd have to, I'd have to think about it a little bit, a little bit more, but fill your sideboard with Magic the Gathering cards. That is, that is lesson number one. Uh, lesson, maybe some sort of sweeper. Oh, wait, choose, actually, I think probably the, isn't there... Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wasn't there one that returns two creatures of the same type? I think Crippling Fear is probably really good. All right, so so do something like that. Do something like that. Throw in random cards of your colors. Play them. They're going to be good. So that's number one. Number two is the stuff we talked about curve-wise, I think still applies. Uh, we still have too many two drops. That still, we don't have enough one drops. We don't have any three drops. That still leaves us in a position where we're not hitting our, not using our mana as efficiently as we should be. So I think, and yes, I know uh, this is a rare. So if it's a budget thing, uh, keep that in mind. If you don't have Thought Seize, you can play to rest. Uh, you can play whatever. But I think Thought Seize would be a huge, huge deal for the deck. I think you bring in the Thought Seizes. Um, and then I think ooh, maybe like the spark harvest and aid to the fallens go away. Something like that. The other thing I would say is I'm not really sold on this drag to the underworld is removal. It seemed really slow. I think I would probably play like a couple of fatal pushes. Maybe you play a couple of heartless acts. You could also consider murderous rider. Also, uh, if you can, the mana base can be upgraded. The mana base was fine. Like it has enough lands. It's monocolored, so it function well. But like Castle Lockwain would be good. And uh, 
Faceless Haven also seems interesting. If you have the wild cards, we can afford some colorless lands. Obviously, the swamps have to become snow-covered swamps, but it's technically a rat, so it works and actually pumps like our pack rats and synergizes with the rest of our deck, works with Piper of the Swarm, gets Menace. So Faceless Haven uh, seems absolutely ideal for the mana base. So I think... If I was going to run rats back right now, and it was already it was already a dream. We went three and three, which is a miraculous and impressive for this deck. I would probably run it something like this. And do I think this is an actual like top tier competitive deck? Uh, no, it's got 10 rat colonies, but we did see the deck be able to win. We saw Packrat be really good. It gets even better with Thought Season in the deck. We saw Liliana somehow come down in steel games against Control. Piper the Swarm was actually oddly effective. Its ability to steal creatures were good. Tokens were good. So the deck was way better than I would have guessed when I saw it. And if you want to upgrade it to something like this, I think you got actually a pretty uh, a pretty reasonable, uh, not super competitive. I'm not saying go spend all your wild cards on this. Please don't do that. But a uh, reasonable casual deck for historic. So anyway, that's been Beaver Dream. Our first meme in a uh, our first dream in a minute. That's been our episode for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed some historic rats, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.